So we are honored to have the Musial family with us to present the Lifetime Achievement Award, including Stan's daughters, Jean Musial Edmonds, Janet Musial Schwarzy, and our thanks to the entire family for being here tonight. And now the recipients of the 2021 Stan Musial Lifetime Achievement Award for Sportsmanship, Wayne and Janet Gretzky. Thank you. Well, thank you. Oh, thanks for... Uh, oh. We're so thrilled that yeah. you're here tonight. It well, is a big <laughs> thrill for all of us <laughs> here you. in this theater. Thank you. I, will, I will have to tell you, we're a little embarrassed. Yes. All we did was uh, she acted and danced. I just played hockey and all oh. these kids. What they've done <laughs> is truly remarkable. You've done more than I, that. You've done more than that. It's pretty special. But, we're, but, we're privileged to be here. Well, speaking of that, let me just ask you, as you've been seeing these stories, I mean, yeah, it's amazing. You you know all about sportsmanship. Yeah. What what has this night kind of uh, meant to you? What's what's going through your mind? Um, I'm hoping the whole country can watch this on Christmas, because it shows how great a country it really is. <laughs> so many. There's so many good people in the world. Um, Janet's mom, who's 100 years old, who's with us. And my dad, who unfortunately just passed away. The Canadian Institute for the Blind is my hometown of Brantford to see that young man running with that boy. Right. And the whole, every story has been so special and so unique, and we need more of this in our life right now. We do. I want to talk about your mom for a second because she is here tonight. Um, tell us a little bit about her because I know 100, is that right? Yes, my mother turned 100 on August 2nd. She was born in 1921 and it's 2021. Actually, my, my youngest son Tristan is sitting next to her and he shares the same birthday, August oh, that's 2nd. Nice. So he's had 21 birthdays with my mother, which is a, a great gift, um, and I want to thank my some of my family for showing up and friends and everything. And and uh, we're we're so proud to be here. We're well. proud to be here, and we're so I, I just want to. And I love living in St. Louis. <laughs> Wayne loves it. <laughs> but I want I want to say congratulations to all the honorees tonight. Your stories have been remarkable and touched our yeah. hearts. But but you guys, part of your makeup is giving back, and that's what you've been doing. And we mentioned in the piece about, about your mom and dad yeah. and how they established that and they wanted you to be a good person, even above a good yeah. hockey player. Talk well, a little bit about that. My dad always said my life was mapped out for me. So I w I'll tell this quick story. In 67, 1967, my first NHL game was the St. Louis Blues played the Pittsburgh Penguins and my hometown of Brantford, Ontario. In 1978, uh, I signed with the Indianapolis Racers, and we played an exhibition game 
one NHL team, and it was against the St. Louis Blues. I grew up listening to Dan Kelly and Jack Buck, because yeah. we could get their stations. 1981, I met Janet, and we became friends. On and a show called Dance Fever yeah. that I represented St. <laughs> right. Louis when I was 16, went to the finals, and, and then, then went on to become a regular right. on the show. Merv Griffin brought me out, yeah. And then in 1982, I, on January 26, I turned 21, the Frontenac Hilton Hotel in St. Louis. My mom and grandmother came down. Mm -hmm. 1988, uh, we got engaged and we decided to throw a big engagement party. And the all-star game in the NHL that year was in St. Louis. <laughs> so St. Louis kept coming back in my yes. life. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, I grew up, I grew up with a Down syndrome aunt. And in the 50s, they, they would take the kids and put them in asylums. And my grandmother kept her home, didn't want her to be in, a, in an asylum. She didn't go to school ever. She couldn't read or write. My grandfather spoke to her in Russian. My grandmother spoke to her in Polish, and we all talked to her in English. And my dad would tell me, if you don't believe in the good Lord, then you shouldn't be here. And then <clears throat> the Canadian uh, National Institute for the Blind was in my hometown. So I grew up with blind kids, and they played ice hockey. And my dad told me at a young age, for some reason, the good Lord gave you a passion to love hockey. And I, I know you're going to be okay in hockey, but I want you to make sure you understand there's, there's more to life than just the game of hockey. And so I learned from my parents. Yeah. And Janet, I know getting funding for breast cancer research is really important to you. It is. It is. Um, unfortunately, I've, uh, cancer's been a big part of our family unfortunately, and I know it's probably touched every single person here and all around the world, and it's really important to raise awareness and research and everything, um, NBCC, um, National Breast Cancer Coalition, is a big, is a big charity for me. Um, I, I, like I said, I lost two sisters in the last five years to breast cancer. Um, it's just, it's an important research. Uh, my mother, you know, she's 100. It's, right. I mean, I'm so blessed. I have five healthy children, three healthy grandchildren. Uh, we're, when, we're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> I felt old when we have to That girl was dribbling up basketballs. Down. I couldn't do anything like that right now. <laughs> I, I, after about the eighth time getting up and down, I looked at Wayne and I said, I think we're getting old. <laughs> but, I was going to steal your mom's cane. <laughs> <laughs> no, but mommy, I mean, she's 100. It's amazing. And, and I think I got my competitiveness. I mean, I was, I, I, I played baseball for like, 14 years, and I went right into dance at very late, like 13 years old, but my competitiveness was so strong that nothing was going to hold me back, and I went on to win Miss Dance of St. Louis, then Miss Dance of uh, America, representing St. Louis, Missouri, and, but I get my competitiveness from my mother because you would see it if you saw us play gin every morning. <laughs> <laughs> She's a tiger. 8 a.m. <laughs> no, so, 6. 6 a.m. <laughs> so we have a special message for you, um. and, it, and it's not from someone in hockey, but it is from somebody who everybody will know. So let's take a look I at can't this. can't wait. Hey, Wayne. Hey, Janet. Garth here. I just want to say congratulations on the 2021 Mutual Lifetime Achievement Award. Very well deserved. Uh, Wayne, you and I talk all the time, right? Miss Janet, I'm going to talk to you. I can just tell you, I know exactly what Wayne's feeling right now. And you know Wayne has won every award that they have to offer. This will be his favorite because he's winning it with his hero, his mentor, and his best friend. Having both of your names on here, the great one and the greater one, <laughs> that's awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying being honored. I love you very, very much. And I don't know what to say. I mean, we put the Gretzky logo on the screen. We've got the Gretzky logo on the guitar. Party on, dude. <laughs> See you guys. You've oh, got some so... famous friends. I, you know, I have to tell you, that's what makes the world wonderful is somebody like Garth who's so nice. 
he was so excited. We did a big event in Edmonton, and they raised the banner for Garth Brooks. And he goes, why are they raising their banner? I said, Garth, you sold out 30 days in a row. <laughs> I think you deserve it. <laughs> and every day he would go to a charity event for kids. Really special man. Yeah. So we really appreciate the kind words. I want to tell you a little, a little story that you will not remember. I remember everything. But... <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. You, you came to, after you were traded to the Blues for that very short time, you came to our television station to do the first in-studio interview, and we did it, and you were walking out, the two of you were walking down the hall, and in one of our little edit booths, one of our editors had a picture of her son playing hockey. Nobody told you to do it. You stopped, you walked in, you signed an autograph, and you just left it there because you knew what that would mean for that kid, and he still has that to this Thank day. You. Well, I, can, I, can I just say this on behalf of Jenna and I? First of all, we're really um, so uh, overwhelmed on this event. I knew it was the STEM usual awards, but to see the stories, mm. we were all so overwhelmed and we were all so taken aback. And this is what makes our city of St. Louis, the country, North America so wonderful. And I was saying, you know, there's only, I, I wish we did this in Canada, and there's only one person that we could do this after in our country. And if they flipped that number over or made it a number nine, the Gordy Howe Awards in Canada, it'd be really cool. <laughs> Special night. Um, that, that little stint in St. Louis, when you think back on that, what, what, what comes to mind? Were you happy he was coming here? Um, oh, yes. I, I mean... can't wait to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> we all were. No, we were so excited. No, we're, we're excited. Red Hole drove me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Keenan. <laughs> That'll be in the papers tomorrow. Here's the thing. We're back here now. We go to games. Yeah. I love right. going down to watch the kids. I went, I went down to a youth game the other day, uh -huh. and uh, I had my two grand boys. All right. And uh, they're like, Papa, these guys, they play hard, huh? I say, yeah, it's hockey. It's not, it's not, it's not that golf that your dad plays. <laughs> Although he's pretty good at that golf yeah. game. Although, and then I did tell him, but you guys should play golf, don't yeah, play hockey. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be so nervous for them playing ice hockey. Yeah. Golf, it doesn't matter as long as I'm behind them, I, I, don't, I don't get hit. Well. But I know. St. Louis is home. St. Yeah. Louis will always be home. And because of that, you know the name Stan Musial. I'm, you know it no. frontwards and backwards. I wonder, growing up in Canada, were you from? Oh, I told you. Wayne's I listened. a baseball historian. Yeah. No, no, my life is baseball. baseball. I grew up listening to Jack Buck right. every day. Oh, Jack Buck. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I love the Cardinals. Um, we're very good friends with Bill and Ira DeWitt, who are kind enough to take us to the games. Yeah. and. This city has great ownership and great representation. I wish I could have been a baseball player. This is the closest <laughs> trophy I'm ever going to get to be a baseball player. But you did meet, you did meet Mr. Musial. Yes, I met him a few times. Oh, you did? Yes, yes. he did. And Roger Maris. I was a and what does Wayne Gretzky and Stan Musial talk about? Oh, gosh. I was 19, so <laughs> I was probably like a normal 19-year-old. I shook my head and nodded. <laughs> <laughs> I was too nervous that's, to that's talk. All right. But a lot of the traits that they talked about with him tonight reminded me of my husband. That's you know what I mean? And uh, so I thought, and then I, and, and a lot of different stories tonight brought me to tears. But what really got me is when his whole family stood up here on stage. That was yeah. like, touched my heart. It was like seeing them all up here and honoring their, their grandfather, their father. Right. But well, it's a, it, baseball is a wonderful game. I, I wish I was a I, I wish I was a better baseball player when I was younger, because it was my dream to play professional I baseball. I think you did all right. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a new adventure 
you're going to be a hockey broadcaster. I'm on TV. Um, I've worked tw twice now in eight weeks. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm not doing well enough. <laughs> they, they told me uh, I worked October uh, 6th and 12th, and then they told me we'll see you January 1. <laughs> I said, okay. It's a good gig I if you can get it. Didn't work that out. <laughs> I said, this is good for me. And then they told me we're going to work you a couple days in January, and then we're off for February because of the Olympics. And I go, I love this job. <laughs> I'm the one that got him into this job. I, I said, you, I think you said needs, go for it. Well, I just, I just thought, you know what? He sits at home, and he, he no. I watch you play no, no. gin. No, no, he sits at home. Every sing, everybody calls him for advice. Every, I mean, owners, players, um, media, uh, you know, everybody calls him and asks his advice. And I said, Wayne get on TV and talk about it to everybody. <laughs> and then because, they won't have to call. you know, they'll call her and then they'll go do it. And I'm like, tell them what you know. Tell the world what you know. And they'll love it. And See, I, now you know why we've been married 34 years. <laughs> Five kids. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're honored. Wayne and Janet Thank Gretzky. So much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Really appreciate it.